Right now we're on the shore of the Nelson River. The guys here, the First Nations guys, have been setting up camp for the past week or so and have also been setting nets to catch sturgeon to see how close the sturgeon are to spawning. We started fishing here about two weeks ago and we still have about another month. I was catching the sturgeon here to do some uh, tagging and monitoring the, the sturgeon. And we're getting some eggs here to send into Grand Rapids for hatching. When it looks like the sturgeon will be almost ready to spawn, the fishermen will bring back some males and keep them in swimming pools on the, the shore of the, close to the camp here. Then they'll bring the, the females in when they're almost ready. After they have eggs and the milt, they'll fertilize them, and the eggs will then be sent to Grand Rapids Hatchery. The initial decline of sturgeon populations in Manitoba started with the commercial fishery. With an increased interest in caviar, sturgeon became a fish that was highly sought after, which resulted in a further decline of the sturgeon population. One of the main things that the crew at this camp have done over the years isn't just collect spawn. Spawn's just the first thing that happens in the season. Most of what they're doing here is they're tagging fish and they're doing that as part of an ongoing population assessment. So we've been monitoring stocks here really since about early 1990s and we've had the chance to watch stocks decline and since then we've been more recently we've actually watched the stocks improve. One of the great things about the Sturgeon Board over the last 20 years is that just 20 years of working together, everyone knows each other now. Um, a lot of the suspicion really isn't there anymore, and it's much more of a cooperative, collaborative environment on just, okay, what can we do to make this better? One of Manitoba Hydro's corporate goals is to be an environmental leader. And Manitoba Hydro recognizes that hydroelectric development in Manitoba has affected the lake sturgeon populations. And so now we really want to be an environmental steward to the lake sturgeon populations to ensure that they persist and sustain for future generations.